What is going on, my guys? Welcome on into the Faithful Studio. I am Tyson. I am making a behind-the-scenes day in the life, and what I'm doing here today is I am working on my studio light. This is a Godox uh, SL60Y. The fan is noisy. I don't like it, so I'm changing out the fan. I am already on the back end process, kind of putting this thing back together. But I just wanted to chat to uh, with you, so you're going to see me kind of looking down, because I'm just going to chat about what's going on in the day in the life of faithfully bearded right now while I'm finishing putting this back together and testing it to make sure A, it's quiet, B, it works, because, I mean, it has to work for the purposes of lighting my videos. And so sound is extremely important because I don't like noise in the background of my videos at all. Um, when I'm filming. I don't want any noise coming in. I don't want nothing like that. I turn off AC, all that stuff, because I don't want any out of my videos. But so what I want to talk about is what happened like this week. Um, I get messages on Monday from my bank, like saying a bunch of stuff these purchases, wanting to verify purchases. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I didn't make any purchases. So then like the fraud department calls me and the fraud department's like, well, we have all these purchases. And it was like Florida, the UK, California, all this stuff comes out to be like $5,000 in these purchases. And I'm like, well, that's nice. So what do we do? We well, gotta fill out this fraud stuff. I'm like, okay, let's fill it out. Well, Wednesday was payday, and so the fraud stuff's still going on. My bank account is negative a ton of money, and they so they put me on a hold in my bank account, right? So my paycheck won't go into my account. I can't pull any money out of my account because you can't, my, my debit card is frozen because it was marked as fraud, and I can't go into the bank to talk to anybody and pull money out because of COVID. So basically I'm running on, I have no money to do anything that I want or need to do. Um, pay bills, including rent and things like that. So I'm just kind of waiting for all that to go through. Uh, so that happened this week. Um, and then, so here we go. Like, should we test this out? Let's test it out. Let's plug it in, turn it on. Boom, we have light. They said, let there be light. 34 degrees Celsius. I hear like no noise. Like, this is amazing. So let's turn this down to like, like 10% is as low as it goes. And you can see it's still putting out a really good light. And then I put like a soft box on top of this, right? To do it. I don't, I usually run around 25 to 30% for lighting my videos and I have it up there and lighting like obviously this is super harsh light and way closer than it normally is but this is the light that I light all my videos with on a regular basis um, I have two of them one is a tungsten light one is a daylight 5600k light um, so this is now completed I just did this while we were talking so Dealing with the bank, you know, and then, like, we get into everything else that's going on, live streams, life, people trying to figure life out, and it's just a lot of stuff going on, you know, with the divorce, so let me tell you where we're at with that, I'll update all you guys on that anytime you want, um, A, thanks everybody for reaching out, who's reached out to me and just wanted to wish me well, I appreciate that, that means a lot to me, um, but, you know, the, the point of the day in the life and the point of all this stuff isn't to have sympathy from any of you guys. I don't want any sympathy. What I want is honestly just to be truthful and transparent. And I've been going on other people's live streams talking about what's on my mind and my feelings because I think it's so easy for us to get behind a camera and portray somebody that we're not, you know. And so a lot of times you see me get on a camera and I'm like, oh, welcome on into the Faithful Studio and I'm all happy and, and giddy. And that's generally who I am as a person, but you don't really see that 
right before I got on camera, I was talking to my lawyer, or right before this, uh, Aubrey came in, or how Aubrey came in in the middle of the video. So I wanted to make these videos uncut, and as you can hear, like, Aubrey's screaming in the background for french fries. She's hungry. She's about ready to walk into the studio. I can see her out of the corner of my eyes. Hey, Daddy. What? What time do you set the french fries? Two minutes. Two minutes? So she's microwaving and she needs things. So that's kind of a day in the life of like, you never know what's gonna happen. I've heard my phone go off three times already just during this video. It happens, right? So, but we don't see that because we edit it out or we uh, we don't see the stresses that a filmmaker is going through or a content creator because we put that all aside and we become one with the camera and with you guys and that's our getaway. That's our time to just forget about everything else that's going on and to just get away for a minute and think about what we're doing and get lost in the process of, of content creation. So not only has my bank account been hacked this week with fraud and over $5,000 spent, um, we have the divorce stuff going on too. And you know, that's not gotten, there's really no status update with that. I mean. Uh, we're civil. It's not that stressful. I mean, the stressful part is nobody really wants to go through that. The other side of it is you guys reaching out and talking to me, which, again, I, I am extremely grateful for. But I don't want sympathy. I don't thrive on sympathy. What I thrive on is your guys' friendship and you getting to know me and the real me. And that's what I want out of it is you guys to know the real Tyson. So that's why I'm jumping into live streams and wanting to do the behind-the-scenes things just so you guys can kind of see what's going on. So... Uh, I think I'll wrap this video up with that. The light works, so I can go mount that up now, and I can start focusing in. I got a couple uh, paperwork things I need to do for work today, so I can focus in on that and spending time with uh, Aubrey and then some live streams later tonight for you guys. So Until the, uh, the review, the next live stream, I'm live streaming Thursday night, Friday night on the Bearded Practitioner's channel. Saturday on my channel, we're going to launch a Scent for Barton. Sunday on my channel for the Mike Tyson show. And then, and that's Mother's Day, so who knows how many people come in, but it doesn't matter. You know, the whole point is to spend time with you guys and whoever is there to be available. So if you guys want to chat, uh, if you like these behind the scene videos, uh, let me know down in the comments below. But until I talk to you guys again soon, be you, be bearded, and God bless.